If you recall in a previous video, I talked about relocating this warm-up ring right on the M110 engine because it's impossible to get to down there, impossible to adjust. And we relocated it right here, and already we've had this on and off the bracket three times. only takes a couple minutes because we are in the final process of setting the pressures on this rebuilt warm-up regulator. In order to adjust this on the car without special equipment, we've got to be able to tap down on the fuel cell right there. And we've also got to tap down on the cold start pressure adjustment pin right back there. Can you imagine trying to tap on those with the original location of the manifold? Not even possible. You know, Mercedes did this on the bench. So watch as we tap on the fuel cell. We're going to tap down on it. Right now I'm going to show you what our pressure is. Our pressure is about one bar. And then we'll go back here and start tapping. Okay, watch it come up as we tap. Moving side to side. Now the goal on the initial adjustment here is to get up to about two bar. So you have to keep tapping on the fuel cell side to side, just light taps side to side. Now we're going to go back to the gauge. We're still about one millimeter up on the fuel cell. Now, if you do this and you're tapping on this fuel cell and nothing is happening as far as pressure increase, that means you didn't assemble the unit right and that small pin probably didn't seat into the diaphragm. Look at that. We've tapped it and come right up to two bar. That's our initial adjustment on a rebuilt whirr. The next thing I want to show you is just how important vacuum is when setting the pressures on the whirr. Right now, we have a control pressure of about two bar. You see that right there. Now we've hooked up the vacuum to the top of the whirr, and we're going to apply about 12 inches of vacuum. Okay, hold it there. Now let's go back down. <laughs> Look at that. It raised the pressure. 1.2 bar just by applying a small amount of vacuum to the very top port of this single diaphragm warm-up regulator. And so if you don't think vacuum is important when dealing with the warm-up regulator, think again. If any of you have been around an M110 engine, I'm sure you realize how happy I am that I relocated this just to be able to mount it, dismount it, and adjust it. It would have been impossible to adjust it by hand underneath that intake manifold. And during the adjustment process, I learned something else. Remember in the previous video, I said I wasn't so sure about having an adjustable pin here on the cold start adjustment. Well, I've changed my mind. We overshot it a couple of times because when you're tapping on this, it's not linear. You'll come down and all of a sudden you'll tap one millimeter and you've gone too far. And it's the same with the adjustment on the bottom here. So having the ability to pull that pin back up and here's the pin. So you can see you're driving this pin down. And if you drive it too far, you're going to have to take this apart and you're going to have to tap right there to tap it back up and then put it back together and then tap it back down. Well, with this adjustment, you can tap it down and if you go too far, you can use a nut and tighten this up and it's like a puller, so it pulls it back up. So I've decided I am going to do the adjustment on my other words, but I won't be able to use that little roll pin. We had a heck of a time making those final adjustments because of the vacuum leak created by the roll pin. I have another option I'm working on but I am going to do a kit. It'll include the proper size drill. Now, this is really critical to, if you do this. This is very soft metal. So if you don't use a quality tap or if you don't use a correct size drill, you can ruin this. And I don't know where you'd even buy one of these. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. You have to use a high quality drill. You have to use a really good tap. 
you have to do it straight on. You don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, you got problems. So in my kit, I'll have instructions on how to do this. And ideally, you want to do it with the halves separated and the heating element out. So if you are tapping it and happen to turn that pin a little bit, it won't make any difference when you reassemble it. So I'll start working on this kit. Any of you who desire to have an adjustable warm-up regulator of your own, I should have this ready by the middle of December 2022.